previously on Leon Gethum. Denny Hollywood Finch. You're a blast from the past, thanks, and you in donkey shoes. Everything okay? Yeah. I can't wait to see Daryl and Carol die the night. <laughs> I have a feeling we're in for a beautiful ceremony. We're in for something, that's for sure. Mum reckons you'll have to do. For what? To be my best man. As soon as Uncle Jim gets here, we're going to get going. Daryl, if your grandmother wants to spread your grandfather's ashes on your wedding day, you'll let her. Hi, I'm Denny. Mazzy. I can't believe it. It's been too long. So long. Don't say that. It makes us sound old. We just missed the turn off to Liam Gatha. Oh, where are we going? We've got to go drop off Grandad. You're going to miss out on a cracking wedding. If we ever get there, that is. Jesus! Plums the earth! You're missing her, aren't you, mate? Yeah, Dad. Stupid heart, stupid heart, stupid brain, stupid brain, stupid things, over and over again. Stupid songs, stupid songs, stupid lies, stupid lies, stupid thoughts, so many stupid times. If I wake up to find it's the last day of my life I'll find some stupid way to waste my time Hi, Sam. Yeah, yeah we, we just got a little bit sidetracked. Yeah, we shouldn't be too far away. We're just, we're just coming into Inverloch now. Yep, yeah, Sam, oh, I'm serious. I'm, I'm not, we're literally 30 seconds away. Yeah, okay, okay, maybe not 30 seconds away, but we're really close. I mean it, Daryl. If I miss my own sister's bloody wedding because you and your stupid family can't organise something as simple as a... Rue! You just went past Rue! Oh, I was so plums. I, I don't know what I was meant to be looking out for. Oh, yeah, um, Sam, yeah, uh, yeah, no, but look, we're just turning the bus around. Uh, hello? 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 Very funny, Daryl. I would have thought that on your own wedding day you wouldn't be pulling these kinds of stupid childish pranks. Calm down, love. It wasn't anyone's fault. Darling, we're not running late. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. You'll see. <coughs> I'm Alex, by the way. Sam's husband. It's Roy. Uh, you look familiar, mate. Do you work up on the main street here? In fact, I do, Roy. I own and operate the hobby shop just next to the bakery. Ah, that's it. You own that place. Wait on that. What's that called again? Cockhead's Hobby Shop, isn't it? I mean, ever thought of changing the name, Alex? It's a, it's a family name. The actual pronunciation is... Yeah, sorry, mate, I shouldn't laugh. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, well, yes, you see, but it's... It's pronounced co-head, you morons. The CK is silent. It's a 15th century English name of some distinction. I get your bloody minds out of the gutter. Sorry, love, um, no offence intended. Yeah. Oi, Plums, where am I headed now? 
Leon Gather, and will you please stop calling him Plums? Leon Gather, it is. Next stop, Plums Wedding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't think there's any public toilets in between here and Lee and Gather. Can you hold on? I really, really, really need to go. Okay. Um, are you happy to go on the scrub? I guess. All right. Uh, hold tight, guys. We're going to make a quick pit stop. Oh, for Christ's sake, Mary. We just left home five minutes ago. You'll just have to hold on, pet. Mum, seriously, I'm busting. No, Mary, seriously, we're already running late enough as it is without having to worry about you. Think about your Aunt Carol. When have you ever actually worried about anybody but yourself? You're a selfish old bitch. How, how dare you speak to me in that way? You are nothing but a spoiled, ungrateful little brat. Now, now, sweetie, darling, please calm down, the both of you. Shut up, Alex! You shut up, Mum! Don't talk to your mother that way. I'm sick of you guys. All I want to do is take a piss before I wet my pants. Rue, pull the bus over, will you? I don't want to lose my deposit because some kid's pissed everywhere. How dare you? All right, all right. We've still got a little bit of time up our sleeve. Ba, 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 ba. It's going to be on for young and old before we even get to the wedding. She is a real piece of work. <gasps> I know. And that husband of hers, poor bloke. Could be worse. No, actually, no, I can't think of anything worse. <laughs> Hi, babe. Yeah, it's me. Uh, just letting you know that we're probably going to be a little bit late. Yeah, no, we, we just had to make a few stops, that's all. Yeah. No, no. No, I'm not going to... Yes, I, I know it's important to you, but... Well, well, that's why I'm ringing you, to tell you we're going to be late. Hello? Hello? Oh, where the bloody hell's Mary? We need to get this show on the road. Listen to me, you piece of shit. With all due respect, I'm the one who's trying to get us there on time. Mary! Mary! Hurry up, will you? Well, go and find your daughter, will you? Well... Well, it's a bit inappropriate. I mean, I mean, she's going to the toilet after all. Oh, fine. I'll go and get her then. No, wait, sweetie. Hold on. I'm coming. What do you reckon? Should we just leave him here? We could. But the next time I hire this bus, it'll be for Daryl's funeral. <laughs> this does not look good. We can't find her! She's lost! Great! We've lost a cockhead! It's cohead, Plums. Now Carol's really gonna kill me. Don't go too far, okay, Freddy? Do you really think she's lost? No, I think she's just pissed off at her mum. Can't blame her. <laughs> How do you know the bride? Uh, I went to high school with Carol. You close? Not really. We were best friends growing up, but we grew apart over the years. We contemplated not coming, but I'm having too much fun to have missed all this. Daryl and I haven't really been close since we were kids, so... And now you're best man at his wedding. And I have to film his wedding. Would you like some help? Sure. Could you use a camera? I don't know. You press the red button thing, don't you? And the whole thing, it's just a little bit technical. And I have these really girly hands and all. Mm, see, I did notice earlier how mannish your hands were. You know. What? Well, you know, talk to Rue. She probably needs some sheep castrated. What? I'm kidding. You got perfectly feminine hands, quite suitable for, you know, holding cameras and castrating sheep. Thanks. That's all right. 
Thanks, that's really the nicest thing anybody has ever said to me. in the hobby business. Well, it's all started out as a hobby. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, I was a CPA up in Melbourne and uh, we'd had a passion for model trains and aeroplanes. Yeah, so got out the rat race and opened up co-head hobbies. And you haven't looked back? Pretty much. <laughs> hey, we're the largest hobby shop in the Gippsland region, right? Three employees. All part-time. Hey, here, take a card. I've got one here somewhere. Yeah. Oh. What about you, Roy? What line of work are you in? Mary! Mary! Bloody hell, where is she? Oh! My personal trainer once told me that I have perfect control over my emotions. But if that little cow doesn't show up soon, I'm going to wring her flaming neck! She's doing this on purpose, you know. She knows how much this day means to me. Not to mention her Aunt Carol. Mary! 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 This isn't funny, you know. Mary! So how are you holding up, Plum? With the wedding and all? I haven't really thought about it that much. Oh, you haven't thought about it? <laughs> Gee, look at you, cool as a cucumber. If it was me, I'd be a nervous wreck. Till death do we part and all that business. What about you? I haven't heard anything about you dating anyone since... Um, Bluey? Yeah, Bluey. What happened to him? Uh, he was a cop, wasn't he? Yeah, he got stationed down at the prom. Moved there last January. Oh, he was a bloody good fisherman too, Plum. He once caught a bream the size of your mum's handbag down in Powlett River. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, dog's missing too, I reckon. So why didn't you move in? Uh, I got Pop's farm to look after. Anyway, no time for a bloke. I'll leave all that fancy stuff to you and Derry. <laughs> Denny? <laughs> You'll die waiting for him to sort his shit out. Anyway, Carol's been organising everything. She's really good at that kind of stuff. So I pretty much haven't had to do anything at all. <laughs> Like I said, Plum's cool as a cucumber. Ruth, darling, why do you insist on calling Daryl by that childish nickname? Aw, oh, Jane, he's always been Plum's to me and the rest of the cousins. Yeah, well, it's dreadful. You could at least show him some respect on his wedding day. All right, Aunt Jane, for you, I'll call him by his real name, Daryl. What was that? Shh. Stay here. Stay Dad puts up with her for all these years. She's just so mean. Everything has to be her way. She never sees anything from my point of view. Doesn't care about how I feel or how Dad feels or how anyone else feels for that matter. It's all about her. I know parents can be frustrating, but really they're just trying to do what's best for you. I don't think Mum is. 
Dad just lets it go like it's too big to deal with, like like he's hiding from the fact that he has a horrible wife. I really think everything would be better off if they got a divorce. I remember when my mum wouldn't let me go to the school dance with Bobby Clark. Oh, because I was only 14 and he was 19. And she thought it was inappropriate for such a young girl to go out with a much older boy. <laughs> that sort of scandal could ruin a young girl's reputation. God. We fought God, like cats and dogs, Mum and I, yelling and screaming at each other. So then what happened? Pardon, dear? To you and Bobby Clark. Oh, yes, it was. I. Um, Mum and I fought, and she sent me to my room for the night. So, when she and Dad were asleep, I snuck out, and I had the night of my life. <laughs> that Bobby knew a thing or two about a thing or two, if you know what I mean. Are you saying that you, you know, <laughs> did you and... No, goodness, no. Just because I snuck out to a dance with an older boy doesn't mean I was a floozy. Gosh, no. We didn't give it up back then like the young girls of today seem to do. Mind you, I did give Bobby a bit of a wristy that night, but that doesn't count, does it, dear? <laughs> um, here they all come. Where on earth did you all get to? We found her! Oh great, it's Mary the girl we've been looking for for the last 20 minutes in the bush. Hmm. I seriously went about 10 metres into the scrub. Really? Yes, really. Why didn't you answer your mum when she was yelling for you? What are you? Leave the girl alone, can't you see she's upset? Man, we've been in the bush for the last 20 minutes looking for her. Her mum's going to murder somebody. Well her mum's a bit of a cunt apparently. <laughs> Here we go. Where have you been? I told you I had to go to the toilet. Your father and I were worried sick. Well, why didn't you answer when I was calling out? Because I couldn't hear you. Unbelievable you are. Unfucking believable Thanks to you, we're now running even later for your aunt's wedding. Tell you what, Mum, I'm not as young as I used to be. That search really knocked the stuffing out of me. <laughs> I'm rooted. Yeah, babe, yeah, yeah. No, we, we just had to make a pissed up, yep. Yeah, no, well, we're just outside of Inverloch, so maybe another half an hour or so. Yep, oh, I mean, uh, hello? Uh, <laughs> Roo, give me the bloody keys, I'm driving. Yes, Your Royal Highness. Hey, Daryl, it might be best if we took the shortcut up Coonwire Road. Probably save us 10 minutes or so. You reckon, Dad? Yeah, take the next ride onto Coonwara Road, but don't go into Coonwara. You take a left onto Whitelaws, then it's a quick right, and it takes you straight through into Leangatha. All right, if you say so. Your dad, he used to hitchhike along this road to get to his first job in Lang Lang. <laughs> this next left, son, then it's a quick right just a bit further up ahead. Yeah, the right's just up a bit further. What, this one? Yep, that's it. Are you sure? I think they closed this road down years ago. What? Yeah, there's a track, but it comes to a dead end. Oh, sorry, mate. I thought maybe it's a bit further up. It's been years since I've been up this way. Hey, can you guys tell me how I'm going back there? I can't see a bloody thing. Yeah, you're right, Lums. Plenty of room. You sure? Oh, 
shit. I think I just hit something. Please just get the bus moving again. We can't be late for the wedding. <sighs> can't be late? We already are. All right, can everybody just put a bloody sock in it, please? I just think I've hit someone. Great. We'll be late for sure now. Come and myself a